welcome back guys this is question 2.85 and the statement it has is the probability that a doctor correctly diagnoses a particular illness is 0 0.7 okay so what is this some probability has been given and let me write the given data here so in given data let me represent the correct diagnosis with c such that the probability of the c or correct diagnosis is so on the basis of it we can also find out the incorrect diagnosis which is basically c complement which is the incorrect diagnosis and how can we find it out we can subtract this p of c from one and uh, then we can find it out so let me find the probability of incorrect diagnosis 1 minus 0 0.7 is 0 0.3 okay so this is the probability of the incorrect diagnosis so given that the doctor makes an incorrect diagnosis so here what is given the doctor makes an incorrect diagnosis the probability that the patient files a lawsuit is 0 0.9 so another conditional probability has been given here is that if a doctor will make an incorrect diagnosis the probability that the patient will file a su lawsuit is 0 0.9 so what is this probability this is the probability of a lawsuit with the condition that doctor will make a an incorrect diagnosis which is c complement so here this is c complement and this is what this is 0 0.9 okay so all this data has been given so uh, from the previous questions you have understood that having the correct given data and knowing the required things will solve half of a question okay so here what is required so what is the probability that the doctor makes an incorrect diagnosis and the patient sues so again we can see that and has been used here and wherever we will get this and there we have to use this intersection okay so therefore now what is the required thing we have to find the probability that doctor makes an incorrect decision so he will have to make the incorrect decision and and for it and i have to write this intersection the patient sues so for that i have to make this ls and we have to find the probability of it which is written here okay so this is what this is the required thing which we want okay so now in order to solve this question what do we have to do this is the solution which is basically the third step and here in order to solve this question let me use the conditional probability so by using the conditional probability we have previously seen that we have to find the chain rule for these type of questions because here we know that probability of a lawsuit given that a doctor will make an incorrect decision according to the conditional probability it would be probability of a lawsuit and an incorrect decision divided by the probability of an incorrect decision okay or incorrect diagnosis so we have this one and what do we want to find out here we have seen in the required data that we want this one so multiplying both sides with this pc complement so what will be left with us on the other one side we will have the probability of the lawsuit and the incorrect diagnosis is equal to what probability of the lawsuit such that he has made an incorrect decision multiplying it with the probability of the incorrect diagnosis okay. so what is this here we can see that this is a very important relationship which is called the chain relationship okay if you want to find the probability of the two related events what do we have to do if you want to find the, out the probability of the first one which is related to the second one you have to use this formula and after it you also have to find the probability of that event as well so the same has been followed here and now putting their values here let me put their values because the probability of it is also given and this is here 0 0.9 multiplying it with the probability of c complement which is 0 0.3 okay so multiplying them what would we get we would get here 0 0.27 which is what the probability of the ls and c complement or the probability that the doctor makes an incorrect decision or incorrect diagnosis and the patient sues okay so that is what that is the required thing or the required answer which we were 
finding to solve this question so that's it for today in which we have found the chain relationship between two events and uh, with the passage of time we will talk more about it if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon